<laughs> All right, our intern Haley has herself a theory, and I'm here for it, man. Short Kings finally getting their props. Mm-mm. Yeah, I'm like, the longer I've been here now, I've been here like a couple months, I'm like, I'm starting to know my audience, I think. I was like, I sent this in, and I said, I, I know they're going to pick this one. Um, but no, I, I fully believe that short guys... <laughs> If you are have the height and you're you're able to date a short guy, I think they're better. What now do you mean if you're able to? Like, if, like what would make one <laughs> not able to? Well, I matched with one over the weekend, and he's already ghosted me, so I I haven't been able to go out with him. Listen, I don't speak with for every short guy, okay? But listen, tall guys are great and everything, but I think for tall women, like my stepdad is six foot six, but that's okay because my mom is five foot ten. You know what I mean? I'm only five six, so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna kind of lower the lower the threshold that I think I need to date. <laughs> My boyfriend right now, we're the exact same size. Oh yeah, and we, he's a hockey player. Yeah, he's he's a tiny one. My tiny little <laughs> hockey player. Yeah, there was, cute. yeah, there was a post I made on Instagram. It said like it's you know the wind is picking up again. So guys under five six, like hold on. <laughs> I, I tag him in it. He thinks it's funny, but I have a list of reasons that I think short guys are better than tall guys. Now, if, if you're new to the show, also know this: I am five foot four, so I am fighting for short king rights all the time. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. No, my um. My first reason is that they are more confident because they have to compensate for their height. I agree with that. I think one of the traits or characteristics of somebody that can make them very confident is their height. And if it's just kind of handed to you and you just grow up to be super tall, I feel like you don't work as hard to like, Hmm. to, you know, get women or, you know, whatever. I will absolutely add credibility to this, that I do think that short guys, have we have to develop our personalities yeah. better than tall guys. We don't have a chance. When we walk into a bar or a club, we know you're not looking for us. Right. So we got to develop in other areas. <laughs> man. we just try harder. Yeah, they also, like, they're always going to think you're out of their league, too. And this isn't for every short guy, but, like, Mine specifically, he sometimes like in the beginning of our relationship, he would say like, well, don't you want someone taller? Don't you want? And it would make him like work harder at the relationship. <laughs> and like, I felt I was like, for the first time, I felt like, oh, like I'm kind of, he thinks I'm out of his league. Like <laughs> it was a great feeling. So a short king will treat you like a queen. Yeah, mm. because they're like, man, she's going to leave me for a guy who's six foot four. Like, I got I to gotta step it up. Literally, there is the head insecurity. There yeah. sure is. Yeah. Um, the third reason, it's easier to match height during intimacy. So (laughs) when I kiss him, I don't have to hurt my neck. (laughs) I don't have to stand on my tippy toes. And it's great because my aunt is 5'2 and her husband is 6'4. Dang. And she says sometimes she feels like a child Mm -hmm. when she like hugs him or kisses him or whatever. She feels like she's a child. And to other people, it looks weird Mm -hmm. sometimes. And I'm like, you know, if you're 5'10 and 6'4, that's one thing. You got to get a guy over six foot if you're 5'10". But if you're five two, it's like why not five four to five Amen. eight? You know what I mean? Like it's just it's it makes yeah. more sense physically. It That's looks- our pool right there. This is what I've been saying now for twenty years yes. is you are taking out of a very shallow short pool. If you are a woman that is like 5'2 and you end up with a guy that's 6'5", right. it's infuriating. <laughs> yeah. You need some balance. I get it. <laughs> yeah, because then you have women like my mom who are like, man, I can't find a single dance partner that's over <laughs> six feet tall. And she saw my stepdad and was like, ooh, you're tall. I can dance with you now. Um, my fourth reason is I don't ever feel like I have to wear heels sometimes. Mm-hmm. Because I think if you're a short woman dating a tall guy, you're like... Man, I have to wear heels so I don't look like I'm his daughter when we go out places. <laughs> <laughs> I get to wear complete flats on my wedding day, and I'm so excited. I know I could either way, but, like, I'm so excited about that. Because they're more comfortable? Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't have to walk around in four-inch heels so I <laughs> can reach him when I kiss him. That's funny because I feel like most girls have the opposite. They're like, I want to date a, c- a tall guy so that I can wear heels. I don't want to have to yeah. throw out all my good Louboutins. Right. No, the short guys are also um, more likely to stay married longer than tall guys in a study done by NYU. Because we're, we're scared to leave that relationship because there's, there's <laughs> nobody, else, again. Yeah, nobody can, else out there is going to love us at this height. Yeah. They can also sit in the back seat of a car better, which I get car sick, so I always need the front seat. <laughs> I could just throw him in the back and he's and we fit right in the baby seat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so there's five or six reasons yeah. right there. I like that. They're all good, too. The Burt Show.